Mr. Steve is a courageous and outgoing person. He is always out and about in the open and he is very kind to the Boys and Girls Club. Mr. Steve provides a very outgoing and caring personality for all of us. And he is also a very generous and funny person. Hi, Persia, and the rest of Persia's broadcasting class. My name is Steve Horde, and I'm the executive director of the Douglas County Boys and Girls Club, where I've been at for 22 years of my 33-year Boys and Girls Club career. I love the idea that I come in to see young people like you and watch you guys grow. That's what I just get such a big kick out of, that we come in with a game plan each and every day, and you pretty much toss that game plan, a lot of it, as soon as you hit the door, because something's going to be different. Something's going to be thrown in the works to, to make it have to be different, but you keep on going. And, but we're going to keep on teaching and helping kids grow and hopefully realizing their potential, their best of their abilities. We want kids learning and growing the whole way, and it's, it's fun to be along for the ride. 1A and 1B, and you take it as you will, but most recently, we worked for a long time, as you know, uh, we, to get this club, and it's, it, we kill, <laughs> call it our new club, but it's been here since 1998. But the very minute we moved into our new club, our teen room was immediately beyond packed. We had to start work on a teen center. And it took a while, it took too long, but uh, it took a lot of great people, great community efforts, a lot of dollars. But three springs ago, we opened up our new teen center. And to have our open house, the christening, the ribbon cutting, all of that was just phenomenal. And to get you guys to be a part of that and, and, and reach a new era where we're growing our club to even more young people, it was just, I was exhausted beyond belief like I've never been before but it was a great exhaustion to get through uh, that and to have the space we've got now. The other part of that answer would be every spring, every end of May, every Memorial, uh, every Memorial Day week that weekend that kicks off with that Friday, Saturday weekend and watching young people like you graduate. Graduation is, it's, it's just one step, but it's a big step. It's the first step towards commitment of you guys bettering yourselves, and uh, that's special. I love being a part of that as much as possible each and every spring. No, it's a calling. You, uh, you fall into it. In my case, it was uh, the second of two internships that I had to complete, and that internship had to do with outdoor and therapeutic recreation. I was a camp program director at our original Camp Kiwanis, uh, up in Ackworth and uh, from that led to several other opportunities to stay connected with kids and making a difference that way.